Hello my YouTube family and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Raquel, welcome. Thank you so much to everybody who's clicked on my video. Today I'm gonna be giving you 10 tips to keep your nails from breaking. So I'm gonna start right away. The first one is to moisturize your cuticles daily from the front and back. I moisturize my cuticles twice a day and moisturizing them from the back really helps. I notice, for example, if I'm gonna be washing dishes before I put my gloves on, I'll apply cuticle oil to the back of my fingernail. And I notice that helps me because for sure, every single time that I wash the dishes, I bend a nail, bad and I don't break them. So I'm thinking that must have something to do with it, that I always apply the oil and that makes them nice and flexible when I do bend them, because for sure I bend them every time I wash the dishes. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to keep your nails away from water as much as possible. Because uh, I've talked about this before, from your nail going in and out of water so many times, and this excludes of course, washing your hands. But let's say you're washing the dishes three times a day and you're not wearing gloves, which is gonna be one of the things you should also do uh, to avoid your nails from breaking. Your nails are expanding from the water absorption into your fingernails. And then once your nails dry out, they go back to their normal size. And from all that stretching and re re going back to their normal size, the, the nails from your the layers from your fingernail begin to separate and that causes chipping and peeling of your fingernails uh, and your nails won't stay long for a very long time. So definitely for sure, wash your hands enough times to keep them nice and clean. But when it comes to washing dishes or even washing your dogs, which I don't do it all the time, but it helps keep your nails from peeling and chipping and, and breaking or becoming weak in the long run to where you hit your nail and it definitely breaks because of the routine you haven't been keeping up with. So try to keep your hands dry as much as possible. If you're gonna be doing gardening, if you're gonna be doing washing dishes, anything again that requires your hands to be in water for an extended period of time, definitely Make sure to dry them and use gloves, very important. Number three would be to never skip your base coat. A lot of people think it's not important to use a base coat. Your base coat is basically the foundation for your manicure, the foundation uh, also for the strength of your fingernail. So you have to find a base coat that works really well for you, for your nail type, that's very important. And for everybody, it's gonna be different. Um, I was asked what base coat am I using right now? You know what? I've been using the Nail Aid brand and I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, and base coat is supposed to protect your fingernail from staining when you apply the nail polish and also to help the nail polish, the color nail polish you're gonna be adding to grip on good to the nail so it won't be peeling later on the days that you have your manicure. So. It also helps protect your fingernail. It's gonna be a layer of protection. And if you even wanna add more than one base coat, go for it. I do. So I apply from two to three base coats before applying my colored nail polish. So let's move over to the next. Alrighty, the next tip is the polish remover you use. I've read that you could use the acetone polish remover and I used the acetone polish remover for years. For many, many years, the 100% acetone polish remover, I used it. And I have no complaints about it, but if I had to compare it to using, for example, a Cutex brand that has acetone, but it's not 100% acetone, compared to the 100% acetone, it I do see a difference. So I would recommend that you use, if you're gonna use the acetone uh, polish remover, maybe add a couple of drops of water and uh, some drops of oil, just to, make it a little bit not as harsh on your fingernails, but the best thing would be just to get like a Cutex brand or another brand that isn't 100% acetone. Again, the 100% acetone does the job and I used it for many years, but I would get a lot more breaks than I do now. So um, that would be another tip um, I would give you. Be careful with the polish remover you use. If you're using a manicure that has a lot of crystals or a lot of, um, uh, glitter, 
then definitely for those manicures. But for like your weekly manicures, just use a regular uh, polish remover. For me, my favorite one is the Q-Tex brand. My next tip would be to be delicate with your hands. And I feel like a hypocrite saying this because honestly, for me, what I do requires me to move my hands really fast. And I don't have a lot of time to think about my next step, my next step. I just got to go. I, I pack things. I'm in the computer a lot. I What else do I... I have to do some traveling so that... I have broken a nail traveling as well. But the main thing for me is packing and being on the, uh, the keyboard. Uh, the keyboard, as long as my nails are oiled, I'm fine. The packing, I go... I have to get the tape, cut it out, sometimes make boxes. I enjoy doing that, but I would like to tell you that I, I'm not careful when I'm doing that. And I haven't broken a nail that I can remember, but I do bend them all the time, all the time. Uh, but other than that, for my day to day, I try to be cautious, but as cautious as you are, sometimes you're going to hit into something. And you know what I notice? that when I bump into something and it hurts really bad, it's a sign that my nail didn't break. It's a sign that my nail was able to hold on. And I do, I check and my nail isn't broken. Whenever I hit something and it doesn't hurt, I say, oh yeah, I broke a nail. And sure enough, I check and I broke my fingernail um, because my nail gave way. And that's why it didn't hurt. But uh, be delicate with your hands. Don't use your hands to open Coke bottles and things like that. Use... Um, a spoon or something else to help you out. Next tip. Alrighty, my next tip would be to apply a coat of polish every day. Even if you're not polishing your nails, a clear coat. A clear coat every day. If you have a manicure and you uh, nail polish like this, apply a coat every day. Um, that way you're, you're giving your nail for that day the flexibility uh, to withstand bumps and It'll flex instead of breaking. I noticed that helps me a lot. So this next step, I already talked about it a little bit. It's wearing gloves. It's super important to wear your gloves whenever you're going to be washing dishes. And I mention this all the time because it's so important. Whenever you're going to be washing dishes or whenever you're going to be using household chemicals. For example, if you're cleaning mirrors or if you're cleaning a, a toilet and like it's important to use your gloves because you don't want those chemicals to be sitting on your fingernails on the back of your cuticles the front of your cuticle you don't want that you want your nails not to feel dry you want your nails to feel nice and flexible but sturdy enough and chemicals are going to do all the opposite to your fingernails water is going to do all the opposite to your fingernails so don't forget when you're washing dishes when you're doing gardening anything even even watering the plants because sometimes watering the plants you wet your hands so you could wear some type of gloves that would help as well wear your gloves number eight is to be loyal to your nail care routine lately i've been super lazy to where i've been keeping my manicures up to a month and when i remove my manicure i find breaks because I've kept them too long. And then I'm left having to repair the brakes. What you want to do is be loyal to your manicure. Be loyal to your nail care routine. For me, what used to be the best, the best that I noticed is if I changed my manicure from every seven to nine days. That's when I noticed that I don't get breaks. But if I keep my manicure for a whole entire month, not all the time. They don't break all the time. But sometimes I wouldn't even find out I had a break and who knows how long I had it. And I remove it and I had a break there. And um, it's no big deal for me because I know how to repair my nails. Uh, but yeah, make sure to be loyal to your nail care routine, whatever that may be. And if you say, I'm going to change my polish every two weeks, change your nail polish every two weeks and you'll see that your nails break a lot less because they have those coats of flexibility, those coats of protection uh, to keep your nail from uh, chipping or peeling or breaking. So be loyal to your nail care routine. Another thing that helps me a whole bunch is I like having my nails super straight. Okay, let me show you there. Okay, there we go. My nails are super straight from the corners. Can you see there like there we go. You see how super square my nails are? That's how I like them to be. I like my nails to be super 
square. And what helps my edges stay nice without breaking is that I apply a coat of polish, every coat of polish, my base coat, my colored polish, and my top coat. And all the top coats I apply from there on all around my nails free edge. That helps against the bumps you're gonna be giving yourself during the week. That'll help you not lose your corners. And if your nail is round, it'll help your nail not lose length as well. So make sure you're uh, capping your fingernail all around. As soon as you see that your fingernail starts to get length to it, cap it with each coat of polish. That's a super tip. All right, another thing is going to be that if you have soft nails, use a nail hardener. If you have brittle nails, use a nail strengthener. So if you have soft nails, your nails bend super easy. You need a nail hardener. And try to get a nail hardener with zero formaldehyde, no formaldehyde, because prolonged use of formaldehyde in the long run is gonna give you brittle nails. So you're gonna be changing the soft nails, or sometimes they call them water nails, for brittle nails, and that's no fun. I'm in the brittle nail category, so what I need isn't a nail hardener. What I need is a nail strengthener, and um, that's how it goes. And it's very important to use the appropriate base and top coat for your nail type, because let's say you have uh, brittle nails, in my case. They're super stiff and they break easily if I don't have my coats of polish. If I start using a nail hardener, that's gonna make my nails even more rigid and they're gonna break even easier. So that's why it's important to know what your nail type is. You know if you have soft nails, if they bend easy. You know you have uh, brittle nails if they chip off easily. They're really rigid, they're really stiff. That means you have brittle nails. So for each, you're gonna have to use a different nail treatment. Super important and that'll help keep your nails long as well. Another thing I like doing that I don't do as often as I used to before is hot oil treatments on my fingernails. You can use an oil like jojoba oil. Uh, there's, I mean, there's almond oil. Those two oils would be the ones I would recommend for the warm oil treatments. And then just wrap your fingernail with the oil, uh, with aluminum foil, or now they have those little nail caps that you could wrap them with um, some co a cotton round or a cotton swab dipped in warm oil and then put the, um, the little finger cover and just leave it there for 10 minutes. Just watch TV while you have them on and that's gonna give your nail, it's just a perfect little spa for your fingernails. And that's it you guys, those are my tips to avoid breaking a fingernail. And uh, that's what helps me. If I'm loyal to these steps, I will keep my nails from being broken. But those are my tips and tricks for avoiding breaking your nails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give these tips a try. Super big, humongous hugs, huge kisses. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.